Alright, so hello everybody, what is going on dude? Today is Kibushimaki here and we are back with some more Pokemon Fire Red. Last time, well, we went ahead and made a way to catch another legendary bird Pokemon. This time, well, we ain't got much else to do except to take on the 7th Gym Leader and see what happens next. What I do recommend is you make sure you bring along someone that has Surf, Fly, Strength, and Cut, and also the ability to learn Rock Smash. You're going to be needing that fairly soon. Um, so this is kind of just who I'm rocking, who I'm going with. But yeah, there we go. As you can see, everyone is 42. I took out Volcan. Volcan is also level 42. And um, you just make sure you're all set and ready to go. Let's talk with Blaine. Ha! I am Blaine, the Red Hot Leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have a burn heal. There we go. A bit battle with Gym Leader Blaine. Blaine starts off with a Growlithe. Level 42, pure fire type. Intimidate for the ability with his bite, roar, take down fire blast. Main thing that this Growlithe is probably to do is start off with a roar to send you out of battle, hit you with bite or take down for constant damage, and if it has a type effect in this or a type matchup that benefits it, it will probably use fire blast. Uh, of course, though we get the lucky para um, paralysis first turn, making our job a lot easier. Go, just go ahead and use strength, just to get off some good damage. The so, body slam once more. There we go, that should do it. And we're all set. Nice. Next up is gonna be. <gasps> Ponita! Which you haven't even found the chance to catch yet. Ponita! Ponita is level 40 pure fire type, flash fire for the ability, with the moves Stomp, Bounce, Fire Spin, Fire Blast. The main thing that this Ponita is going to probably set up with is with Fire Spin to get off constant damage every turn, Bounce to avoid any attacks, Stomp for constant damage, and for the type matchup or just the strongest hit it can use, Fire Blast. As you can tell, Ted is not recovering HP after every turn. That is because I decided to remove the uh, leftovers and have him stick with the Amulet Corn for the time being. Wanted to gain more money, of course. Next up is Rapidash. Rapidash is another pure fire type, the evolved form of Panita. And it is level 42, flash fire as well for the ability. With the moves of Stomp, Bounce, Fire Spin, Fire Blast. It'll probably do the same exact strategy as the Panita, using Fire Blast for the most type effective move, really. Fire Spin for constant damage every turn. Stomp for, well, decent neutral damage. And then uh, it'll probably just use bounce to avoid any other any other hits. Fire blast is quite an interesting move. It has a five PP only, super powerful fire type move. However, it has not the best accuracy, so it is quite interesting and something definitely to look out for. <clears throat> be careful with your grass types. Be careful with your bug types, because this gym will certainly make decent work of them go just like that yep it's gonna spring up as expected it's gonna bounce uh we're just gonna go with body slam again we're just gonna keep using that should be okay yeah boom bounce is a flying type move i believe so really shouldn't do too much damage though just be careful in case but another body slam and we are good i don't know why i said like that body body slam we are set next up is Arcanine. I saved Dory just for this. His star Pokemon. Arcanine is level 47. Pure fire type. Intimidate for the ability. With the moves bite, roar, take down fire blast. This thing can be a dangerous threat because of fire blast and it being severely higher level than anything we've encountered. It can make quick work of even water types because of it. It is absurdly powerful, absurdly strong. We almost take it down in one hit. Damn it. Don't do so, unfortunately. But we held out pretty well. Unfortunately, Dory went down, but that's fine. We can bring out Ted, and we can finish this up, hopefully. Hopefully that uh, Thick Fat will be able to come in handy. Let's use Takedown, though. And Ted 
Yep, yeah, basically good as new. It takes care of it just like that. Nice. Boom. Good chunk of experience and Ted gains a level up. Nice, not bad. There we go. We defeated the leader Blaine. I've burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned the volcano badge. There we go, get ourselves a good chunk of money. Ha ha ha! Ha! The volcano badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. See so yourselves team 38. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on a water Pokemon. Of course, that'd be the smart idea. Now, the reason why, I recommend you bring someone that has the cut and um, flash, or at least the cut HM, and knows moves like Strength, Fly, and Surf, as well as the potential to learn Rock Smash, is because upon stepping out of the gym, we see our buddy Bill. Bill! Huh? Hey, it is not. Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see, certainly. Yeah, I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? Here's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? You can say yes and go now, or you can say no and talk with him in the Pokemon Center. There's really no difference. You can go whenever you're ready. Uh, just make sure you have a Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash, i.e. your Paras or your HM Slave. And you're all set. Okay, be careful. Here we go. How about it? Yeah, let's go. Alright then. Let's go. And just like that, it arrives right on time. Looks like my pal's boat arrived too. He's sent it specially here to Cinnabar to pick me up. We hop right aboard. And we get moving. Straight to one island. Here we are! This is one island. There are several islands around here. This is one of them. My friend Celio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network but has lonesome. Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Celio. Or Celio. Here we are. We get this kind of slightly different music and we get to meet him. Hey there, Celio. The Bill! I can't believe he came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a second. Isaac, this is my buddy Silly. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Silly, this is Isaac, a rising contender as a Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So, bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh, yeah? Okay, let me take a look. See. Hang on there. I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Isaac, can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one's called Two Island. There's a guy that run there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch, being fellow maniacs. So, can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Go ahead and we take it from Bill. Isaac, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. We obtain the Tri-Pass. It's a pass for the ferry service, serving the local islands. It will let you travel between the islands 1, 2, and 3. Oh, you should have this, too. I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. Uh, say hi to the guy for me. And it seems that they are straight to work. If we try accessing, accessing our PC, we are unable to do so, so of course we are limited. That's why I recommend you bring along the Pokemon I recommend. Go, boom, 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 boom. Boom, just like that. Thank you for waiting, definitely. Now, well, we have a new island and a new place to explore. This area is certainly remote and out of the way, but here we are on one island. We check it. Friends gather at Not Island. That is what this place is called. We see we have another little pass called the Kindle Road. Of course, there are trainers along this route that you can take on, you can tackle. I'm gonna try to ignore most for now, but there are a few new encounters, of course, available to us. I don't have any max repels, so we kind of just have to hold out on battles and things like that. But of the new encounters, first up is Honita. Honita is a pure fire type. 
It is one of the few that are available aside from Charmander, um, Arcanine, or Umbrella, and Vulpix. Ponyta is a bit of an interesting sort. It is a physical attacker like Relith, however it doesn't it lacks that beastly attack stat and lies its true power in its speed. Its main uh, function really is to kind of just get in quick hits, jab whenever, and get out of harm's way if possible. You can also find the evolved forms of Rat uh, Rattata and Spiro here if you look around, and uh, you can find a bunch of different water types. Um, located about this place. Also, if you uh, test your luck a bit, you can also find, well, Ponita's evolved form Rapidash. Ponita evolves into Rapidash at level 40, still pretty fast, can hit pretty hard being a physical attacker, however it is limited by the physical special split of course, so you really have to choose wisely on what you want for your moves for, well, Rapidash and Ponita. There we see there's a few items and a bunch of trainers strewn about this place. Um, let me go ahead and let me move Dory back to the front. Let's wait for it. Boom. Here we go. Make way by. We reach Ember Spa. Wanna talk with some people? Soaking in a hot spring pool is therapeutic, people say. Wanna talk with a few more people. I know that if we talk to one man in particular, I think it's this guy over here. Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. Emperor Spa, well, I made it years ago. I hewed the pool right out of a giant, gigantic boulder by hand. I was using this at the time. I suppose I can part with it. Receive HMO6. That shatters boulders as if they were made of crackers. HMO6 is none other, none other than Rock Smash. With it, if you give it to Paras, we can definitely learn it. You can now go about and collect a few other items that we skipped out on. Not only within Kanto, but mainly here at the uh, islands. This portion of the game, the Sevi Islands as they are called, was added in Fire Red and Leaf Green. So this is certainly something new and something definitely exciting to watch out. With uh, using Rock Smash, you can get something, well, per chance out of it. Not only do you get rid of these boulders in the way, they aren't permanent, they're only temporarily gone, you have the chance of encountering Geodudes and Gravelers. So you can potentially fight Pokemon through this way, though I don't guarantee it being something that you hope for. You can definitely utilize Rock Smash ah! and get to uh, a few different places a lot quicker and get some items well, pretty early on. Other than that, of course, you just have various Pokemon strewn about this place, various trainers everywhere, and a lot to look out for. Go. Um, don't remember the movement pattern of the person. There we go. Go behind you. Over right here. It's Rock Smash. Boom. Wait for the person. Oh, we get an encounter. Cool. Boom. Geodude, yeah, they can show up at pretty low levels, or they can show up at decently high levels. I believe up to like 35. You're gonna go by. That's good. Damn it. Go. Boom. Pop that way open. Get this item. Get ourselves a Carbos. Not bad. Walk Ooh, away. that was way too close. We have another item down there that we definitely want to try to get. And, uh, just gonna keep on moving about and make sure to keep on moving. Uh, the Electabuzz that I had mentioned in the previous episode, I believe is exclusive to Fire Red? Yeah, check right here, we get to say Max Repel, oh, that is much needed. Oh, no, never mind. Electabuzz is exclusive to, or Electabuzz is exclusive to Fire Red. My mistake. The counterpart to it is available here. Not in this area specifically, but an area we shall be running across fairly soon. Go, just want to ignore the trainers. Ah, oh, I went too early. I went too soon. That's fine. We'll take out a few of these. Um, the counterparts available for it, which shows up fairly soon, actually in the next area over, is Magmar. Might as well cover it now. Magmar is a pure fire type. Another one available. It has a low encounter rate, just like Electabuzz back at the power plant. 
However, it is quite interesting. Unlike uh, like the Buzz, who is a physical electric type, we have Magmar, who is a straight special fire type. Pretty powerful. Uh, very, very known for being on the slow side, but it can dish out some good damage and hold out in a lot of different situations. Uh, it can learn moves that counter its water type weakness, such as Thunderbolt, and uh, can really hold out against its ground type weakness, I believe, being able to learn fighting type moves. So it's definitely something to note and really to keep a close eye out for if you potentially want to get yourself a very sturdy and powerful Pokemon. Uh, that's another Force Encounter. Uh, there's really not much more to note in terms of new Pokemon to find. You can find yourselves Machops here, of course, a bunch of Ground and Rock type Pokemon. Um, but I think that's really it to note. Uh, in the water, of course, you have yourselves your Magikarps, your Horsies, your Krabbies, your Slowpokes, and your Psyducks. Uh, here in the grass, there is something new. Actually, not here, but to the south of the dock, you're able to surf in that area. And if you do so, you will have a very slim chance, I believe. Well, not a slim chance, a decent chance, but you have a decent chance of encountering Tangela, or Tangela, however you pronounce it. Tangela or Tangela. Tangela is a pure grass type. I believe it is the only pure grass type to exist really um, in the Kanto region since most grass types are dual types and are also part poison. Tangela being that does not have the weakness to psychic however does have the weakness to bug and poison. So it is a bit frail because of that however it is still quite interesting in that aspect for it being, well, a bit on the slow side, but being able to tank some damage and dish out some decent damage in return. Since this is not Gen 4, it does not have its evolution that makes it even better. Um, it, I really can't struggle. I struggle recommending it because of that typing alone and its limited move pool. However, if you want yourself a good challenge, you can catch yourself a Tangela here, and you can catch one over back by Palatown, just to the south in that grass. Um, though, again, it is way rarer back in Kanto, um, on, uh, just to the south of Palatz, so you have a higher chance of going just south of the docks here on one island. Uh, aside from that, we keep on moving through Kindle Road, top right into the water, and... Let's uh, pop that Max Repel that we have, because we certainly are going to want to use that. Go, let's use it, and I guess we can use the Carbos here. We give that to Ragnarok. Why not? Boom, increase that speed. Now we keep on moving. Watch out for any trainers, because I don't really want to fight anything right now. Damn it! I went as soon as it turned. As soon as they turned. Nah. I didn't even swap Pokemon, did I? I didn't move Lapras out of the way, did I? No, never mind, I did. Okay, cool. Woof. Alright, let's just go in with Lotus. Razor Leaf these Pokemon. So we should be okay. I was kind of worried right there that I messed up something. Go. We have a lot of different trainers to fight. We don't have access to all of our Pokemon, so of course I don't want to take on too many. I want to keep everyone at a decently mixed level. Of course, after getting through this little side story, we can come back here, but it'll be, well, a bit of a long story to get back here. Oh, it's fine. It shouldn't take too much. And really, as long as you're playing along and you're kind of following along, you should be okay with uh, what you're doing. Just make sure you handle all the trainers and you're all set for what is ahead. Here, on Mount Ember, is where we are able to get magma, specifically in the caves. Over here. We'll try digging here. That treasure the admins have been talking about should be here. What the? You're in the way. Get lost. We see Team Rocket is here as well. Doesn't seem like they're going to give us much info. What about you? Can you imagine? If this volcano were to erupt, the explosion would be the end of us. It would be the end of us. How terrifying is that? Oh, we're terrified. Would you like me to teach explosion? No! Yeah, you're right. It is too terrifying. Sure, yeah, it certainly is. You got a move that can literally kill off my Pokemon and potentially kill off the opponents. Whew, shouldn't be too much to worry about though. Just smack, smack, smack. Push slowly. 
All right, cool. We're good. Keep on moving. I know that there is a few encounters that we're forced to fight. There are a few trainers we're forced to take on. But for the most part, you can skip a lot of different areas. Uh, we try to go north from here. Not possible. So we got to keep pressing on to right the now, left. This guy we have to fight, I believe. Yeah. Anything? No. Okay, cool. Just move. Yep. Force fight. That's fine. Required. An active volcano is one that's erupting. Or about to. It certainly is. Just keep on moving along. Keep on following the trail. Fight Logan. Cool. He's got an execute. Alright, uh. This is a terrible matchup because Lotus can't do anything, so let's bring out Ragnarok. Why not? Here on Mount Ember, I don't think there is really any new or special encounters to focus on. Uh, Ragnarok can just bite. There we go. Um, like I said, the Magmar is available. Oh, the Magmar is actually available out here in the grass. That's the only location that's available. Okay, my bad, I was mistaking it. But yeah, Magmar is available here for any of my Leaf Green players. For any of my Fire Red players, we have uh, Electabuzz over at the Power Plant. So yeah, definitely want to watch out for the different variations of Pokemon and uh, see just what we can obtain. Executor will keep Ragnarok in. Ragnarok should be able to handle this. Go, let's fly. I should be able to manage it. Come on, Ragnarok. Soar high. Hit the sky. And hit! Damn it. Nah, I hope too much on that one. Alright, fine. Just bite him. Bite! Ah. Go. Bite. Whoa. Uh, let's try flying again. Why not? Might as well give it another shot. Don't have Volcan, so we can't really use him too much here. Avoid damage. And hit! Yes! Thank you. And we should be okay? Hell yeah. We got a crit too. Perfect. Nice. Gained a good chunk of experience. And now we're all safe. Ooh, that was hot. So it's erupting for me. Now if we ignore you, and I believe if we check here, yeah, we get an extra Ultra Ball. It's going to be super helpful. Follow this path. Repel's effect wore off. I don't have another one, so we're just going to have to deal with the encounters as they come. Don't have another... Oh, I do have a full heal. Definitely use that on Ragnarok. And let's use our Max Potion. Why not? Thank you. Now, let's just keep on following the path. Of course, there are Pokemon to encounter inside this little volcano. But, uh, we're not gonna worry too much about them. Get away safely. Follow along. Yep, yep, yep. More encounters. Come on. Let us just go on by. Lotus. Run. Just keep on moving. Dun, dun, dun. Go. <sighs> Just so many different encounters. I think that's the only tedious thing is just how many encounters you can get so quickly. Dun, dun, dun. Go, match up. Run. Let's move. Also, I did destroy your Boom. body. Boom. Oh, really. Destroy your body. Let's run. Out of here. <laughs> Go. As long as we do that, <laughs> we end up higher up. Before we approach the very top, I want to grab this item real quick. Because there is one final challenge to take on here on Mount Ember before the end. Go push these aside. Smash this rock. Of course, there's a, a Geo Dude or a Graveler hidden in it. Okay, go. Run. Push that. Push that. Grab this. We get ourselves a Firestone. Nice. Not bad. 
So now we want to head up here at the peak to use our strength. Push this aside. And we see someone or something waiting for us. Let's save. There we go. And let us hear the cry. Moltres is atop Mount Ember and is waiting for us. Moltres is the third and final of the Legendary Bird Trio. It is level 50, fire flying type, pressure for the ability, of course, as well as fire spin, agility, endure, flamethrower. This Moltres can either be the easiest one to catch or the most difficult, mainly because it'll probably start off with an agility or fire spin. Agility making it faster, fire, uh, fire spin to get off constant damage every single turn. It has flamethrower as its stab or type effective move, of course and endure the reason why i say this can either be the easiest or the most difficult is because of endure you can either use endure and hold out to one hp or you can misread it and not get it down close enough play it safe play it smart however you can and test your luck now going over the three birds what i can definitely note about all three of them is of the three the strongest is Zapdos. Both Articuno and Moltres, Ice Flying and Fire Flying are both weak to Electric, while Zapdos has no weakness compared to the two. Zapdos is the fastest. It has the highest special attack of the three, I believe. I believe um, Articuno coming in second and Moltres coming in third. And Zapdos is just overall the biggest threat. Other than that, um, there really ain't much more to note other than best of luck to all of you trying to catch Moltres along with me, or just best of luck in general to trying it anyways. Not sure how this is going to turn out, I'm going to try to chip it down a good chunk and just make this easier. We'll see how this turns out, we got three growth set up and we should be able to just chip it down a good chunk. Lower your voice! Raise relief. See what we do. Come on now, come on now. Boom. There we go. Critical hit. That barely did any more. Okay. Let's raise relief again. Come on. Boom. Nice, nice. Not bad. Raise relief again. Can use flamethrower. No. Whoa. Using agility. It's weird, I don't know I don't get why the, the Moltres hasn't attacked yet, but I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna ask about it. I'm just gonna be happy that it's not attacking me yet. So Lotus is holding out pretty well. Until Lotus misses. See, that's what I mean. Do I can use the door. I could have attacked there and got a crit, but I wouldn't have killed it. But then again, like, it's just I say just play it safe. Once it gets to the yellow, hit it with your weakest moves and hope to not KO it really the simplest way I can explain it, or really the simplest way I put it. Just go in, he's raised leaf again. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. Uh, good time crit, but very scary time crit. We have 19 Ultra Balls to use, as well as a net and nest ball. Let's see how well we do. One, two, three. Oh, come on! I really thought I caught it on the first try. You suck. How dare you, how dare you Moltres baby like that? Ah, uh, that's, <laughs> all right, come on. Oh, okay, now no, Lotus is out, all right, it was good. It was good, you did your purpose, Lotus. You, okay, you're really just adding insult to injury by critting Lotus, you suck. Okay, uh, let's go to Ted. This, this is mainly why I wanted to bring along Ted for sure, not only because he has strength, but because of Yawn. He's able to tank these fire type attacks pretty well and uh, hold out in a lot of situations. Boom! Put it to sleep. Put it to sleep. 
<gasps> Let's chance it again. Go with another Ultra Ball. Maybe we count in Spanish, it'll do it. There's a barrier! Come on. There's a barrier! Never mind, it did not like the Spanish reference. Even though their last... Well, the... Ah, excuse me. The ending points of their name... Even though the ending points of their name are just that. Cotton the Fire Spin, that's fine. Let's go ahead, let's check another Ultra Ball, see what we do. Articuno, Uno, Zapdos, Dos, Moltres, Tres. Simple as that. Uh... Come on. I don't really have any interesting stories to say. Ten is freaking the Fire Spin, thank you. Chuck another Ultra Ball. Come on. We got this, we got this. One. Two. Ugh, I was about to say three. I thought I shook again. Woke up. Okay. Yawn. Go back to sleep. Ted is fine. Ted doesn't want to sleep. Ted will put you to sleep, though. There, there. Jump on the oh, come on. <sighs> see, look, you got me yawning now. Chug another Ultra Ball, see what we do. Come on. I got a few more left. Nah. Damn it. Fire spin. Cool. You're asleep. You missed. Thank you. Ultra Ball. Kind of wish I had False Swipes or Scyther, but no, this is a bad situation for Scyther to be in. One! <clears throat> Come on! How close am I going to get? I'm at 13 Pokeball Ultra, Ultra Balls left. Come on now. One. Come. What? I got three shakes the first time and then never again. How are you going to beat or try to beat me like that? Come on. Day. One, two, nah, I was about to say three again, two, you guys heard it. Endure, fine. Yawn, go back to sleep. Stay fainted, please. Yawn, here we go. Go ahead, going. Sam, go eat. Go. Damn it! I was hoping if I didn't acknowledge it, maybe it would do it. Alright, your speed is at the highest it can be. Ultra Ball, we got 10 left. No! Why are you being the most difficult, Moltres? Why are you doing this? Ultra Ball, go! Really, just making this more and more annoying. I only have a few more yawn. I only have one more use of yawn left before I have to dig into an elixir or an ether. Most drowsy. Come on now. Seven. 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 Come on. I got seven left. No. No. Don't do this to me, Moltres. Don't be the one that has to make me restart on it. Oh my gosh, you're asleep and you're at like 1 HP or you're close to 1 HP and you're really being this difficult. Uh... Apparently Moltres doesn't like when I yell at it, so I'll talk to it in my most desperate. And soft, sensual voice. I certainly hope you all enjoy it. Come on, Moltres. One, two, three. You suck! You suck, Moltres! <laughs> I tried that soft, sensual voice. Uh, just get the ball. Come on! Stay in the ball! Last agility. Yeah, last yawn, I mean. Come on. Sam! Samuel! Go eat! Chuck an ultra ball. You suck, Moltres. 
You really suck. You know that? Come on. My last Ultra Ball. I really burned through 19 of them. Or 18 of them. However many there were. You suck. How did you... Uh... There's no way I'm catching with any of these. Nest, let's go. Let the hearts control you. Never mind. Net. I was about to be so pissed off. Alright. I'll meet you guys back here once I get it again low. Five, four, one, two, three. You suck! I hate you! My fourth try starting all over and you catch on the first ball, Motris. You could suck it. I hate you so much. Moltres, the flame Pokemon, one of the legendary bird Pokemon. Those seeing it are overwhelmed by its orange wings that seem to be on fire. No! You suck. I hate you. But with that, that wraps this whole thing up. That is the end of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, and next time, well, we're going to be journeying off to the other islands to see what is in store and what is available for us. And as I mentioned before, you can access the other, you can access uh, a treasure beach. There's trainers here, of course. There's a bunch of items. You can find Tangela's here. Uh, search for your heart's content and have fun with it. But that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. <sighs> and I will, of course, be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.